I was uh, between uh, coming here or, or going to the UK because uh, I have uh, studies in the UK. So I was wondering uh, if it would be better to um, look for a job there. Uh, but I have friends here, uh, especially a very good friend of mine who uh, hosted me at the beginning and she helped me uh, look for jobs and, and get to know the, the Belgian system. Uh, so I said I will start from, uh, from Brussels and uh, I will have a look around for, uh, for jobs uh, in the area. And that's how I ended up in, uh, in Belgium. Also because it is well known outside that Belgium is, is, is a very uh, hospitable environment. Um, even though I don't speak, I didn't speak uh, the languages back then, my French was quite poor and my Dutch was non-existent. Uh, you knew that you would uh, make it um, here in Belgium because people are quite tolerant and because they do speak themselves, uh, English and other languages as well. Whereas you couldn't say the same for other languages. Uh, if I wanted, for example, to, to go to, to Germany or to France, uh, most probably I would have to have learned the language in advance before going there. I think that they're, they're not as uh, strict or as fanatic uh, about their languages than uh, other, other countries uh, around, which doesn't make it um, a minus, it's not, it's not negative, but it is like an, uh, an intimidating factor for somebody who is uh, looking uh, to, to come to one of these countries. So yes, uh, along with the UK, which um, I wouldn't have a problem with the language, um, Belgium was the, the, the easiest uh, option. My first master's was uh, international law, the second master's was uh, European policy. So I, I spent uh, two and a half years in the, in the UK before going back to Greece, uh, which I later regretted that I didn't give it a try back then. Um, and, and I went back to Greece and after a, a few years of uh, um, working, I decided to uh, go back uh, abroad. But yeah, things came like that. It is easier because the younger you are, the, the less responsibilities you carry and also because um, mm -hmm. you have a lot of funding and you have a lot of uh, other kind of, of, of assistance, uh, material assistance. Um, later on, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing for other people with families, lucky I, I did not uh, have a family already in, uh, in Greece, uh, it might be two or three times more difficult. Uh, so when you are in a young age, it is definitely easier to make the decision also to move and settle down to another country. Because it is a purpose on its own to go to do studies, let's say, the only difference is that you already know there is an expiration date, let's say. You know when you start and you know when it ends. Whereas when you are going abroad to look for a job or to, to settle down, uh, you have all these uh, issues open. So when I first came here, I did not know, uh, still I, I do not know, if there is an end date or uh, if I will decide to go back to Greece, but I don't search for it anymore. I'm not wondering uh, every day uh, if and when will I go back to Greece. Uh, now I just let things uh, happen and little by little my life is becoming a uh, Belgium, so um, I'm not thinking of it uh, anymore, at least not uh, on an everyday basis. It helps you make the decision. Uh, then again, you might mislead yourself by saying, ah, okay, I have done it once already, I have been in the UK uh, or in any place, now it's going to be the same or easier whereas circumstances are different. In this case, Belgium is a different country uh, to the UK and uh, it's totally different going somewhere uh, in order to study than going in order to find a job. Uh, and also because you also have different uh, expectations. I mean, 
um, it was not so much of a failure if you if you go for your studies and you you fail a class, but being in Belgium and not having an income uh, is every day uh, a question mark in your in your head. Like I should go back if I don't find a job by that time. Even if there are, even even after you find a job, uh, you're still wondering. Um, Am I making uh, enough to sustain myself here and is it worth it or would I go back and with my existing network of people back in Greece uh, make a, an attempt to find something there, you know. Uh, but again, these are uh, dynamic uh, circumstances, you don't, you, don't, you don't know, even, even here now, I'm not sure about everything. You keep you keep you keep wondering about these things all the time, even though these are very real questions for everyone, including the the, the Belgians themselves. I mean, if I lose my job the uh, the other day, uh, the same could happen to to anyone. Or um, yeah, if I if I need to to buy a house and I don't have enough money, or to to buy a car, or to go on a trip, same uh, expenses would be for uh, even for for locals. So. Um, the the main difference is is uh, is that that uh, being a foreigner um, I don't know what is the what is the um, the threshold what is the level that you say okay now I feel confident the same way or in similar way uh, that that uh, local people do so the Belgians already know the system the Belgians already have a, a background and 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 a past and history and probably uh, friends and family around. Uh, for a foreigner, um, these questions are always going to be there, uh, like um, financially or uh, um, what would happen now if I decided to go back because uh, Greece will always be my, my, my homeland and, and uh, there I will always have my family and my friends, you know. So, but you don't uh, wonder uh, all the time, every day. It's not healthy. At the time that I made the decision, uh, I had not decided that I will come here. I hadn't answered all the questions. It was a little bit of a, now that I'm looking backwards, it was a little bit of a um, spontaneous uh, decision, but there were a lot of factors, mostly of what was happening or what is still happening in, uh, in, uh, in Greece. Um, and also, I don't say that I was that old, but I felt if you don't do it at a certain age, later it will be much, much uh, more difficult. So I, I quit the, the job um, and uh, two or three weeks later I decided uh, I'm not even going to start looking for another job in, uh, in Greece. It's a time to, to go abroad. I do know quite some people. Um, I still know a lot of people that would like to do it and, and don't make the decision. And uh, there are also people that um, see things differently. They, they, they think that uh, somehow we quit when we say, okay, we decide to, to go abroad. You should stay uh, you know, at home and fight for the situation, let's say. But this is also not uh, realistic in my in my opinion. But there are quite a few people. I have I have uh, friends that left uh, from the same uh, place from from Athens, and now they are all over the place, especially Europe, but even uh, even further. We do give uh, each other uh, advice. Um, this thing happened rather uh, rapidly in Greece, so most of the people we left the same time let's say not that before there were not people going abroad to to live in and, and work or, or study only but um, uh, from from my network of uh, friends and family uh, most of the people uh, we decided to move uh, more or less the same time maybe with one or two years difference uh, and still uh, i have friends that make the decision now so there, it's it's ongoing the the the, um, the phenomenon of, uh, of migration. We have always been suffering <laughs> from a brain drain. Um, now it is uh, more acute because 
um, people know uh, no matter what, even if they do their best, even if they accept uh, poor conditions and if, even if they have to, to, to fight much longer to find a job, they won't be satisfied because there are not so many opportunities and, um, and because there will always be places like uh, you know, Belgium or, or Germany or Sweden or mostly the northern uh, countries that offer um, much more uh, stable conditions and a safe uh, environment. It's the easiest thing to meet people uh, in Belgium, especially from uh, from abroad. Uh, I have a lot of friends from my from my Dutch courses, from the CVO in uh, in, in Ghent now. Um, friends from work uh, here, uh, they are foreigners, uh, a lot of them, uh, and and friends of friends that I that I got to know. But also in Ghent, uh, going out and socializing, you you get to know. It's probably one of the easiest places to meet uh, other people, also foreigners, uh, here in Belgium. It's very easy to socialize, it's very easy to, to exchange ideas and information, um, even to, to go to a store and, and buy something. I told you earlier, uh, uh, the language issue would be um, stricter, but uh, people will try and, and uh, will we'll help you even with, without any language uh, skills, so uh, it's not a problem. It started with, with um, asking a lot of questions to friends, especially to uh, this very, very good friend of mine who, who helped me at the beginning and, and, and hosted me also. Um, I subscribed to, to Actiris and to VDAB. Uh, I also registered uh, online or uh, on site uh, with a lot of um, uh, interim uh, offices um, and then I started uh, asking, I started uh, applying uh, both in Brussels and in, uh, in, in, in Flanders. Um, the, the, the first uh, couple of months were not easy because uh, it took me like two months to, to find this job. Uh, it was basically the first uh, job, yes. Looking backwards, um, it is uh, not such a difficult uh, story to find a job within uh, two months of, uh, of looking, but uh, these were not easy months, I have to admit, with the uncertainty and with, with uh, the little money running out <laughs> already. But um, uh, there is, again here, like a network, a system of, uh, of, of um, procedures for uh, people to help you and, and to make it easier for you to, uh, to find the correct job, to apply for the job and then to get to the job. So it wasn't all that difficult. Uh, the moment that I applied uh, here, um, both the company and the, the interim office uh, through which I applied, they were very, very helpful to give information and um, uh, I had a couple of interviews and uh, these were my future colleagues, as it turned out to be. At the beginning I was looking for jobs mostly close to, to my studies, to my own scientific field. And Brussels is, is uh, you know, all across Europe uh, a very well wanted uh, place because there are so many international organizations, the European institutions, uh, um, non-government organizations and everything. This was also one of the main reasons why I chose Belgium and Brussels uh, and not any other city or, or, uh, or country. Uh, but to be honest, at that time I didn't have so much um, time because these uh, uh, procedures do take time. When, when, uh, when you have open vacancies from the European Union, you know you apply now. Even if you are absolutely successful, you will be, you will be appointed in one or two years at best. So I did uh, try and I had already applied uh, from, uh, from, uh, from Greece uh, during and after my studies um, <clears throat> but I didn't have the luxury of uh, sitting around and waiting uh, or, or even um, 
uh, taking all the the the, uh, the competitions and the tests and and everything. So at the beginning, it was mostly um, these types of uh, of jobs, organizations, and um, and institutions. Then I started looking for more uh, broadly uh, companies uh, that would be interested in in what I have as a, as degrees or as a skills, and um, in the end um, they helped me refine my criteria by, for example, saying leave the the um, the, the target open, but fill out what you have and what you can do. So, for example, this was a job that I wouldn't have thought of applying beforehand because it's a sales uh, position and I didn't have any any management uh, training or, or skills. Uh, but since they were looking for a native Greek speaker, for example, and I applied through VDAB uh, and, and I said, yes, I do speak uh, native uh, Greek and they also saw the rest of my uh, degrees. Um, then I moved like that uh, to something that was uh, yeah, totally different but uh, now I feel more uh, at home and more confident at doing this job than uh, yeah, something that might be closer to my studies. So I am, I am the, the internal sales advisor of, of, of the company. Uh, for the three markets of, of uh, Greece, Cyprus and Malta. Uh, I contact the customers and they contact me every day for any issue, placing uh, over um, orders or, or inquiries, um, if there are any claims or, or complaints, um, all the administrative work as well. Um, I bring them to contact with the company, whether it is technicians or accountants or uh, or anything uh, and once in a while I get to visit the, the, the customers uh, in person uh, so that there might be uh, some bigger deals let's say or some contracts to be to be signed um, and at the same time I, I am uh, responsible for a broader area to do the backup of my colleagues in case uh, they are absent on leave or, or sickness uh, so um, it's it's a full time hands on uh, job. Uh, I do get to 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 keep contact with uh, Greek speaking people all the time. Uh, I speak uh, most of the time Greek uh, on the phone with the customers. I think this might have been the the reason why the company at that specific time. Uh, looked for uh, a native speaker uh, because the the market was suffering the Greek and the Cypriot market uh, were were uh, uh, plummeting for uh, a couple of years and um, the company wanted, wanted to see what we can do to to uh, overturn this and and uh, maybe start having a, a rise again um, and of course for the customers uh, speaking their own language and, and having uh, somebody who understands them. It's not only the language, but I come from the place, so I, I, I know you know the, the, the mentality. It is important. I, I do not say that they are going to buy from TVH the product just because of, of, of me, but uh, it's easier for the company to convince them, to, 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 to show them and to, to um, communicate with them. Um, if they have somebody who does speak the language and, and knows their uh, demands. When I came at the company, uh, they were uh, advertising to, to me as well that uh, in our sales team we speak uh, 37 languages. Now I'm sure it's even more than that. So um, it's, it's not only the fact that uh, they are trying to um, meet the demands of the customers and a lot of customers uh, they don't get to speak uh, French or English uh, or Dutch to, to, to communicate but at the same time to show that as a, as a company we are trying to adapt to, to the local needs uh, as well we have a presence in all of these countries in, in many countries uh, uh, TVH has, has opened up uh, subsidiaries uh, uh, on the spot 
um, but from here as well, the, the headquarters in, uh, in, in Belgium, uh, we are trying to um, find ways to, to uh, serve the customers uh, as good as possible. So one of the most important issues uh, to be addressed is the language. I, I would say more than a hundred uh, different nationalities working in the company. Uh, well, the company has uh, more than 1,600 employees at the moment. And uh, okay, of course, the majority are, are uh, Belgians. Um, the sales department that I'm working for is only a small department uh, of the company. There are technicians and, and uh, accountants and, and IT specialists. Um, and the important is that uh, they they try themselves within the company, but also to show to the to the to the customers that uh, we are uh, um, one um, unity, one big uh, network, one big family of uh, of common interests. Uh, because customers are customers that uh, are coming back again and again on a daily basis. Uh, they're not customers that uh, are going to, to, to come once a year, let's say. So with, with my customer, I need to have as good relationships as I, as I have with my colleagues and, and with my superiors. It's dynamic um, uh, because there is not one standard pattern of doing business. Uh, of course, I need to follow the, 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 the demands and the, the wishes of, of my customers uh, so I, I will behave in their um, way of doing business let's say but at the same time uh, the, the, the company uh, has its own style its own procedures um, uh, the, the easiest uh, you understand the, 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 the employee but also the customers the better it is, um, uh, you get to, to meet uh, people every day and uh, um, everyone is uh, really easy going. Uh, there is no sense of, uh, of uh, higher management, let's say. We have very good uh, relationship with uh, all of our uh, superiors and uh, as well with the customers. Of course, in the end of the day, these are customers. But uh, we develop very, very close uh, relationship with, uh, with them. We consider uh, them to be partners or colleagues than, uh, you know, a customer and supplier.